So the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty uh, entered into force um, in 1970. It was negotiated primarily between the United States and the Soviet Union. Um, it was actually an initiative of Ireland, uh, who was very eager to see an end to the nuclear arms race uh, and a commitment from the nuclear arms states at that time to disarm. And so the agreement in the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty is that the nuclear armed states who are party to that treaty, which currently is the United States, United Kingdom, Russia, China, and France, that all of them agree in a legally binding provision to eliminate their nuclear weapons, to negotiate with each other for nuclear disarmament and an end to the nuclear arms race. And in exchange for this, the other states' parties to the treaty will not acquire nuclear weapons. So they are bound by the treaty's non-proliferation obligations. Um, and then also the treaty has a provision on the access to technology for nuclear energy. And so what we've seen, unfortunately, in the last 50 years that this agreement has uh, been in force is that the nuclear armed states have not complied with that obligation to uh, negotiate with each other for disarmament. Um, for the most part, there has been consistent implementation by the other states' parties of their non-proliferation agreements. There's only been a few cases where countries have either tried to acquire nuclear weapons and then um, you know, followed through on disarmament. Um, there's been, North Korea is the only country that has left the agreement to develop nuclear weapons. Uh, so for the most part, the non-proliferation uh, provisions of this treaty have worked very well. Where it's really lacking is in disarmament. And as I mentioned earlier, the United States and Russia have drawn down their numbers since the end of the Cold War, but there hasn't been multilateral nuclear disarmament uh, negotiations. And there also has been massive investment more recently in rebuilding nuclear arsenals. So India, Israel, and Pakistan uh, have not joined the NPT. They're the only three countries that haven't joined it. Um, and they, uh, their argument is that it is discriminatory. Um, it's a little bit different uh, for each of them. Um, India opposed the non-proliferation treaty from the very beginning um, in negotiations, saying that it shouldn't set up a two-tiered system uh, for there to be nuclear armed states and non-nuclear armed states within the treaty. Um, interestingly, of course, that concern has borne out in that that two-tiered system still exists today, 50 years on. Um, but that argument was a bit disingenuous because India itself uh, built nuclear weapons um, and Pakistan followed suit. And so they argue that they won't join the non-proliferation treaty, that they need to be recognized as nuclear armed states. Um, but the treaty sets a, a timeline for when you needed to develop nuclear weapons by, and after that, you can't join the treaty as a state with nuclear weapons. So they've remained outside of this non-proliferation regime. Um, Israel is a slightly different case. It neither confirms nor denies that it has nuclear weapons as an official policy line, um, but everybody knows that they do have nuclear weapons. Um, and so it's a case for them of, of not wanting to play their hand, basically, to not join the non-proliferation treaty because they would be in violation of it.